Hi, my name is Tony Ridley and welcome back to another Crisis Leadership and Management Education Tutorial. In this section we're talking about priority decision making and this subset we're going to talk about some of the repeatable processes and replicatable systems for making rapid, consistent, effective decisions under time critical demands. So one of the the uh, the basic principles when it comes to decision making certainly priority decision making is to have a rehearsed and learned pattern something that under any circumstances in any type of environment distraction uh, or stimulus you can consistently apply the same methodology introduce new variables and have a standardized or at least a consistent uh, outcome so one of those uh, quite effective in this space is SOAP. SOAP is, stands for Subjective Objective Assessment Plan. It's a very good cycle and process for uh, time critical decisions without a high degree of complexity, uh, without too many working parts, but it's great for um, short uh, decision making cycles within uh, you know, minutes or, or, uh, or seconds. Um, something that can be easily replicated uh, over and over again and certainly once you've learned and refined and practiced it um, you, it becomes a systematic methodology for ensuring that you've covered most of the the critical aspects so the s in soap stands for subjective um, where you collect and um, receive and listen to all of those aspects that are being reported to you so it's everything that everybody else has to say um, or you can see or you can hear or you can watch um, and taking in as much of the information as possible without any uh, inner voices without any judgment without any conclusions just simply absorbing um, facts and figures where possible particularly empirical data although remember in the, the, the caution when it comes to uh, statistical analysis um, is that they can uh, have questionable uh, calculations or they may mask other issues but where possible making empirical evidence-based decisions uh, requires this this baseline um, data reporting then the O under objective is what evidence can you observe or deductions can you make from the data the information the shared content uh, based on everything that you have until that point. Now remembering this is a continuous cycle so this is based on the very finite timeline in which you are at that particular point in time. Uh, it's not something that should sustain for the next several days but based on the information that you have just received or you have until this point making an objective evidence-based um, consideration on what does that mean. Then moving into A, which is the assessment, uh, making a balanced, considered assessment when you're looking at external advice, advisory data and, and fundamentals, then making your own considerations, assessments and reviews um, to then have a balanced opinion or a balanced decision to um, work out a, a number of courses of actions remembering that your course of action or your plan per se uh, may be one or three or five variables depending on other things that are yet to transpire you anticipate or if in the event that they do occur then you have to respond in an appropriate way and then P is, is the last element which is the plan is identifying both the immediate plan with a medium to short term impact um, and with caveats or preparations for uh, triggers or considerations for deviation or um, modification of the existing plan. So again, this is a simplified um, cycle of decision making. Subjective, objective, assessment, as correction. Subjective, objective, assessment, plan. SOAP, this goes over and over again. What have I been told? Where has this come from? What have I made from that? My assessment of this, this is the plan. So. This is particularly effective, as I said, for time critical, short duration decision making cycles without too much complexity and divergences um, and very good for decisions made within uh, or decisions requiring minutes or hours of consideration uh, without a whole lot of complexity. Um, and these types of cycles can be done um, as, as a rationalization from intuitive gut feel type processes to the back of a napkin um, but again all of this should still be documented recorded and certainly analyzed and, and post event uh, determined and improved 
and fed back into the education cycle. So that concludes this section on uh, repeatable decision-making cycles. Uh, we've covered off on SOAP. Once again, thanks very much for joining us in this crisis leadership and management education tutorial series. For more information and more videos on this subject, please visit the website at www.crisismanagement.tony-ridley.com. That's all for now. Thanks and goodbye.